and I am the publisher and CEO of El Clasificado and pleased to be here as your ICMA chairperson. Okay. Here's how you can reach me, social, local, and mobile. However, please wait after a week from the conference to contact me, otherwise your email gets lost in my jet lag recovery period, which is at least one week. This is Joe Badami and myself, it's my husband and reluctant co-founder of El Clasificado. We launched in 1988, I say reluctantly because I thought I was writing a business plan for someone else to take my idea and create a company, but I caught the entrepreneurial bug and twisted Joe's arm to raise capital so we could launch El Clasificado in May 1988. We figured we needed $600,000, but we only launched with $300,000, so we, we suffered for 10 years. But long story short, we are happy to say we are celebrating our 25th year anniversary in just a few weeks. And if any of you are in LA, please come join us on May 9th. We will have great Mexican and Latin American food. So we live in Los Angeles, and that's how far we travel to Cologne, with our two giant puppies and Bengal cats. We love LA, and contrary to popular belief, Los Angeles is not just about gangs. Despite Pekka's obsession to be a gang banger wannabe, <laughs> yes, that's Pekka, it's a joke. <laughs> And Los Angeles, not just about Hollywood celebrities. I guess that's Gabby and myself. <laughs> Los Angeles is not just police car chases, even though that seems to be the only way LA makes the news on the BBC. And yes, that's me in a little go-kart. Not in LA, but has another story. Los Angeles is about beautiful sunsets. And this is a real photo that I took with my iPhone. And if you are lucky, you might see a whale or a dolphin go by. Los Angeles is about our employees bicycling along our Pacific coast and raising money for worthy charities like the American Diabetes Association. And next week, uh, we will be participating, and my husband Joe will be riding 100 uh, miles that day. And we are proud, uh, especially because of Joe, that we are the number one corporate fundraiser for the Tour de Cure. We beat Deloitte Touche. And coming from Ernst & Young, we're very happy about that. It's about surfing with friends from ICMA, and this is uh, Joseph and Joe right before they rode the wild surf. And Los Angeles is about taking great hikes up spectacular trails just hours from home. Here we are in 2003, a local university organized a health and wellness program for our employees. Hiking our local community trails was not enough for Joe. After a six month program, mostly 45 non-athletic employees hiked Half Dome in Yosemite as the finale of the program. And here are the 12 who made it to the top. The one on the end over there, yes, that's Gabby. I don't think she was happy that day after about 17 hours of hiking, 9,000 feet, which is, uh, I think, 10,000 something kilometers. And she had some very choice words, but I know now she's really happy she did it. I had to quit about 1,000 feet there, just threw myself to the ground, no more. <laughs> Los Angeles is big and diverse. Los Angeles is one of the biggest and most diverse counties in Los Angeles. It is the second largest, excuse me, in the United States. It is the second largest city in the US and bigger than 42 of our 50 states. LA County has 88 cities. There are 92 languages, not dialects, spoken in LA. There are over 10 million people in the county and 14 million in the metro area. LA County is over 4,000 square miles. That is 10,570 square kilometers. I was wrong on the half dome. I think I was mixing up, up my kilometers. Los Angeles is an alpha world city. This I just discovered, and it came from a study from a university in England, so of course it must be true. If LA was a country, it would be the 15th largest world economy. The LA metro is the third largest economic center in the world. But what is most important to me is that 49% of the Los Angeles population is Hispanic. There are an estimated 6 million Hispanics just in the LA area. Los Angeles is about unlimited opportunities and it is about threats for many influences. About our future market, well, the secret is out. Our future market has been discovered. 
There are 52 million U.S. Hispanics across the country in various pockets, representing 16%, 16% of the total population. This market segment is also the fastest growing demographic group in the U.S. 60% of U.S. Hispanic adults speak Spanish, and this is our niche. And there are several studies out in the global market reporting that the U.S. Hispanic market is expected to reach $1.5 trillion in purchasing power by 2015. Recent economic studies show that per capita GDP of U.S. Hispanics is greater than five G20 countries. And even the BBC has a senior vice president assigned to the U.S. Hispanic market, not a geography, but a minority ethnic group in the U.S. While as many global and local media giants are eyeing our little niche in the U.S., the fact that U.S. Hispanics are the second largest contributors to the GDP of Mexico and other Latin American countries means that El Clasificado is also eyeing opportunities south of the U.S. border. And as Walt Disney said, it's a small world after all. So about El Clasificado to benchmark our market. We have 170 employees. We distribute 510,000 copies of El Clasificado weekly and still have a net pickup rate of 80%, 88%. We are still growing in print revenues. Last year, we grew 6%. We have 1 million monthly uniques and 15 million monthly page views. There are 7,000 ads submitted daily through our self-serve to our general site. And we have over 200,000 active listings at any one time. We did 20 million in revenues in 2012. 93% of our revenues still come from print. 31% of our revenues come from classifieds, print and online classifieds and upsells. And this does not include the monetization of the classified content online. So those are other ways of monetizing not our local direct classifieds. And this generates CPMs of an average of $8. 74% of our U.S. traffic comes from mobile. We've grown a lot in traffic overall, but since we launched our mobile site, almost all of it has been migrating to mobile. So this is frightening, actually, because we're not fast enough to figure out what to sell. El Plasticado is now part of a multi-platform, multi-brand company called EC Hispanic Media. These are our key brands, and we own over 200 URLs in Spanish with rich niche potential. Our most profitable brands are Paco's List, El Clasificado, and Empleos Latino. When I first joined ICMA, our website had no ranking. Because of the ICMA conferences, advice, tips, insights, vendor, and consultant support, ElClasificado.com is now a top 10 website in the U.S. Hispanic market and a top 8,000 website in the U.S. general market. We are also a top 200 site in Mexico, Colombia, and several Latin American countries. So I am here today as a chairperson of your organization, but I am also here as a PAIN member and attendee. So I want to share with you what I want out of this conference. I want to get to know all of you better. I want to know what products you are selling to local advertisers and are monetizing on mobile. Are you monetizing social media, and how are you doing it? What free or low cost tools can you recommend for process efficiencies? Please give me referrals for ICMA members and vendors. And to get the most of this conference and our speakers, we need you to ask questions to engage and participate in the conversations. I have shared with you a lot about our company, our prospects, and our market. ICMA is about sharing and caring, and the knowledge keeps growing. So let's do some sharing and caring. And let's see, is it going to happen? All right. This is why our company still grows in print, because we are here and we were going to introduce a new social wall. But we are relying on Wi-Fi. And we were told it works. And it's not working yet. So we are going to be nimble and uh, do some sharing and caring later on our social wall, where you can uh, tweet and uh, let's see. Tweet the handle is at ICMA online or post on ICMA Facebook. And for some of you who are shy, sometimes, you know, English is, I know for most of you, English is not your first language. Uh, this will be a way that when the speakers, uh, we're going to use it more tomorrow, are speaking, you can start asking questions 
Gabby will moderate it to make sure that nothing odd gets through. And then we will have questions. You don't have to get out of your seat. You don't have to go get a microphone and ask. You can ask it on the wall. We will be practicing later on today, hopefully. So thank you very much, and have a great conference. Thank you, Martha.